Welcome. You may be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to the class of 2024 sophomore ring ceremony. My name is Evie McGovern and it is an honor and a privilege to serve as your class president and to be here with you today. First, I'd like to acknowledge my classmates. Please take a moment to appreciate yourselves and those around you, your friends, and give yourself a pat on the back because we've been through a lot to get here. I don't want to stand up here and talk about the pandemic because I know everyone's exhausted from staying positive and testing negative, but I do want to say that I'm proud of every one of us for getting here today. Pandemic aside, life is just hard sometimes, and to know that we can sit here together at this point and be at this college and have this ceremony is really impressive. I also want to thank the families of my classmates, whether they're in this room or somewhere else. Parents, caretakers and guardians, but also mentors and staff and friends. Whoever makes that support system, that family for you, that we've all relied on at some point, I want to thank them. I have to thank my parents for the journey that they've been on to bring me to this point in mine. From a young age, my dad made it clear that I didn't have to go to college at all, while my mom set the standard that I should go for as many years as physically possible. <laughs> Between the two of those, I think I can make it out of here on time. To all the families we formed and all the hands that have helped us along the way, I'd like to thank you for being here. And of course, with that in mind, I have to thank the faculty, staff, and administration that play a role in our lives here at Agnes Scott. From the Journeys professors who did their best for us over Zoom, to the Evans staff workers who make the dining hall food worth it, to the administrators with open door policies where any student can come to talk. Thank you for being part of our Agnes experience. Personally, I'm very grateful for all of the SGA, but specifically my council, or class council officers. I'm so glad that when there is work to be done, as there always is, I know you guys are here to help make solutions. As the time to receive our rings has finally come, I want to take a second to think about what wearing them means. When we get our rings and join the Black Ring Mafia, we join a tradition that dates back over 100 years. Though the sophomore ring ceremony has looked different through time, going from seniors to juniors to us as sophomores, and through different ring designs and actually starting a ceremony, the core purpose of receiving these rings has always had a common meaning. Although our time here is comparatively brief to the time the college has been around, we are linked to the Scotties both before and after us. They studied in your favorite spot in the library, crawled out of bed for early classes, and some of them sat exactly where each of you are now for this same purpose. We're connected to this line of Scotties no matter what, but wearing these rings is a physical reminder of our collective experience. I want you to think of something you've done in your life that brought you here. Maybe it's as simple as deciding to tour this campus or as impressive as getting a really good scholarship. Maybe you worked your tail off in high school for good grades or you chose to leave your home state to come to Georgia for college. Whatever it is, take a second and think about it and have pride in that stone that helped you lay the path of your journey here. When you receive your ring, think about everything that has led you to this point and what, when you put it on, remember that you are connected not only by location and education, but by that simple action of putting on a ring to generations of Scotties, both those out in the world and those who haven't even set foot here yet. That connection has power. When you wear your ring, you are showing off that you are part of something generations in the making. We are halfway through our undergraduate careers. I won't say college career, because I know good and well that there are a lot of future educators and doctors and lawyers out there, and I wish you well in your future graduate school pursuits. <laughs> but for our time at Agnes, through the whirlwind it's been, we've made it to the halfway mark. With that in mind, I want to close with the idea of intention. As I said, we're each part of something, generations in the making. When you put your ring on, remember that you are part of that connection and wear it with intention. Leave today with the reinforced knowledge that you are impressive and powerful and have gotten to this point in your life with pride. Let it be a charm in your life to remind you of your individual wonder and powerful history, should you ever forget. In fact, let it remind you often, even if you do not forget. 
loudly be proud of each other and let that momentum move you forward with assurance and intention. And now I would like to ask Ayana Ralston, one of our class senators, to come to the podium and introduce our guest speaker, Asiya Sharifi. Asiya Sharifi is a proud Scotty, class of 1999. She graduated from Agnes Scott College with the Bachelor of Arts in History. She also holds a Juris Doctorate from America's American University's Washington College of Law and a Master of Arts from American University's School of International Service in Washington, D.C. Asiya is an immigration attorney with several years of experience in both immigration and international law. Asiya is active in advocating for immigrants, refugees, and Afghan women. She has recently joined Fox Legal as a partner of their new immigration practice. Asiya worked in Afghanistan for several years. From 2012 to 2016, Asiya founded and managed a law firm where she provided immigration services to American companies operating in Afghanistan. Her previous positions included managing a gender justice program for the U.S. State Department, advising the Afghan government on the negotiation and drafting of various laws and procedures concerning public financial management, customs, and taxation, as well as assisting in setting up a legal clinic which facilitated continuing legal education for numerous judges, attorneys, and new graduates. Please join me in welcoming our keynote speaker for this evening, Asiya Sharifi, class of 99. My dear Scotty siblings, I am so honored to be here. When I was asked to speak at your ring ceremony, I immediately said yes, even though I normally don't like to speak in public. I remember my own ring ceremony and how special it was to me, even though it was several years ago. But I became even more excited when I learned about your class. I asked my cousin Ari, who is a sophomore at Agnes Scott, but unfortunately not here today, what makes her class so special. What she said echoed what many others have said about y'all. Your class is extraordinary. You are fierce. That despite the pandemic, you have the most school spirit. You're politically involved. You have a sense of curiosity. And you've been able to rebound and readjust no matter what has come your way. I love this. You embody the spirit of what we Scotties aspire to be. You're all inspiring. I know your first year did not look the way you wanted it to be. I get it. When I transferred into Agnes Scott in my sophomore year, I felt like I missed quite a bit. I was a little out of step, but slowly, I found my place here. I grew, I made friendships, I struggled, I complained a lot. <laughs> I've learned about others and myself. And I've kept most of these friendships to this day. In fact, Dr. Heather Scott, right here, was someone I met my first week at Agnes Scott College. She lived down the hall at Winship, and I knew I wanted to be her friend the minute I met her. She and I are in the same Scotty group chat that has spanned decades at this point. <laughs> So after hearing about how awesome y'all are, I spent several weeks thinking about what I wanted to say. You already seem to have it all under control. You've got school spirit. What could I share about how special this ring is to me? Why do we alumna get so excited when we see another onyx ring? Yes, the black ring signifies that you attended Agnes Scott during a certain period of time, but it's more than that. For me, this ring is a symbol of the bonds I created and the connections I will create in the future. I hope it'll be the same for you too. Attending Agnes Scott was a pivotal experience in my life. The relationships I created, the person I became, it was a result of being surrounded by Scotties, strong people who were finding their own path. I see this tradition continued in your class, full of Scotty siblings who are passionate and finding their own way in this world who are trying to do bad, better no matter where they are in life, even if life doesn't look the way they wanted it to. So then I thought, why is this so important? You can make friends anywhere. Why is this ring so important to me? 
My answer is this. Last summer, the Afghan government fell, rapidly and tragically. I was born in Afghanistan, and I worked there for several years. In the span of few days, my family and friends who were still there started the horrible calculations that every refugee must compute. Should they leave? How do they leave? What's the safest way forward? How do they preserve the precious freedoms they fought for over the last 20 years? Throughout fielding texts, emails, and calls, I mourned and I grieved as I and the other Afghan diaspora tried to help to make sense of things. I spoke to one person about his immigration options, about potentially becoming a refugee, and how he can leave and keep his wife and children safe at the same time. The next week, I was told he was killed by the Taliban. I'm not exaggerating when I say it was and is one of the most helpless times in my life. But what gets me through are my friends, the relationships I made. Many of these friends were Scotties. They were old friends like Dr. Heather Scott and newer Scotty friends, people I am connected with on social media or at alumni reunions or Scotty babysitters I hired to babysit my children. Um, those friends helped me fill out the multiple State Department Excel sheets to try to get loved ones on evacuation lists. They educated themselves to speak out about Afghanistan being abandoned. They were there. They stood up for me. They stood up for my people. When I was in a fog of grief, they helped. Now, when I look at my onyx ring, I see the friends I made, the people who stood up for me, with me. So being a Scotty is not just being a person of intelligence. I, we already know you're, you're that. <laughs> but it's a person of being that's motivated by love. And so, if I can just give a little bit of advice as an older Scotty, continue to nurture those relationships now and after you leave Agnes Scott. You're, you're all already so awesome, but the ring, the Scottyhood that you're now a part of, it will serve you well in the future. Continue to be fierce. Continue to speak out. Continue to be involved and show your spirit and continue to reach out and be open to your fellow Scotties. The bonds you nurture now are the bonds that will nurture you through your lowest times. Welcome to the Scottyhood. Thank you. Thank you, Asya, for your touching and just remarkable remarks. Thank you. Um, and now we will begin with the distribution of rings. Today, there will be a couple of members of the class of 2023 who will be receiving their class rings as well. Before putting on your ring, please wait until you are instructed to do so by our Alumni Association president. We will begin with the officers of the class of 2024. Becca Robinson, class secretary, who will have the esteemed honor of assisting President Zach with handing each student their ring this evening. E. V. McGovern, class president. Victoria Colon Lopez, class vice president. Peyton Weems West, class treasurer. Destiny Tisdale, class senator at large. Ayana Ralston, class senator at large. Llewellyn Aldridge. Gabriella Ambrose. Rose Amedi.
Grace Ashton. Amanda Assay. Idali Avila. Olivia Bigala. Sophia Bellissimo. Tia Bender. Janice Bennett. London Barago. Bridget Bowman. Catherine Boyer. Belinda Grace Brooks. Deborah Brooks. Marcel Brooks. Kayla Brooks. Katie Broussard. Maddie Bish. Sydney Burks. Cassandra Calixte. Isabella Carbone. Emily Carlson. Katie Carr. Erin Chapeau. Libby Clardy. Kimberly Clark. Isabella Cordell. Lucia Cosby. Ariana Cotterell. Red Cross. Aaliyah Davis. Saren Davis. Summer Davis. Kaylin Dix. Nyla Dix. Leana Drummond. <laughs> Sophia Ebbett. <laughs> Neogushima Edith Rose. <laughs> Madison Ellerby Muse. Nicole Fung. Julia Frank. Eli Freeman. Anila Fulton. Fabiola Garcia. Sayan Garcia. Raquel Garcon. <laughs> 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 
Isabella George. Kristen Gilbert. Ashia Gillette. Gabriella Gino. Aris Gonzalez. Taylor Green. Jasmine Green. Michaela Griffin. Abigail Gross. Isabel Grovenstein. Isabella Guadalupe. Shutong Wu. Sullivan Gutierrez Torres. Rasheen Hagel. Gabrielle Hall. Jewel Hanks. Nia Harris. Simone Harris. Sophie Harris. Ariel Henderson. Giovanna Hill. Sophia Hom. Jordan Hood. Sadia Hoke. Reagan Hutto. Elena Ayanzito. Olivia Ibe. Nancy Jerry Erogo. Ruby Islas. Kajira James. Kat Jansen. Haley Jefferson. Madison Jennings. Taylor Johnson. Amaya Johnston. Kayla Jones. Mia Jones. Riley Keener. Colleen King, Grace Crom, Eli Kuhn, Sana India Lacour, Camille Lankin. Bailey Ledbetter, 
Arabella Lewis. Layla Lewis. Faith Lockhart. Rejoice LePuc. Kennedy Lynn. India Mabin. Alex Macias. Lisandra Mancio Hernandez. Paxton Martin. Michelle Martinez. Isabel Masawi. Catherine Mazur. Mackenzie McDade Hill. Susan McGarry. Jasmine McKill. Alexis Medley. Kayla Melton. Jada Milner. Sierra Moore. <laughs> Athena Murray. <laughs> Rihanna Naipole. Ayana Nanton. Carson Neubauer. Maggie Newman. Cindy Wen. Brianna Jaggi. Esther Okamoto. Lily Olander. Audrey Partington. Jada Patterson. Rebecca Phillips. Abigail Philpot. Janelle Pierrette. Kia Pearson, Leslie Polina, Ellen Poulter, Chastity Powell, Sophia Pooh, Sydney Queen, Rue Randall. Leela Reed. Kendall Riley. Tony Risker. Tazeen Rizvi, Kai Robinson, River Rochelson, 
Marisa Riles. Zoe Salveson. Hannah Savage. Kaisa Zazama Framil. Isabella Schneider. DJ Sherwin. Eve Shoemate. Autumn Sidwell. Akshita Singh. Elizabeth Singh. Malia Slade. Natalie Slaughter. Jade Thigpen. Cameron Irie Thomas. Ava Tompkins. Katiuska Toral Castillo. Asher Torres. Emily Utes. Noni Amina Vaughn. Jalen Vajon. Kasaya Vercelli. Kalia Vareen. Skyler Walker. Grace Walker. Mia Ward. Sydney Ward. Madison Waskey. Raja White. <laughs> Becky Wilson. <laughs> Courtney Wilson. <laughs> Maya Wilson. <laughs> Rhea Wilson. <laughs> Charlotte Wonderlick. Erica McLeod. <laughs> Valentina Turner. <laughs> Jackie Lopez. <laughs> Duran Bellinger. <laughs> Juan Ruha. Congratulations to each and every one of you.
please wait to be instructed uh, to put, before putting on your ring. At this time, we will have remarks from the Alumni Association President, Whitney Ott, Class of 03. Thank you. Wow. Greetings, class of 2024. They said you had spirit, but how about your family members? Like, they're going strong. So amazing. On behalf of the Agnes Scott Alumni Association, thousands of Scotties around the world sporting their onyx rings, let me be among the first to say congratulations and welcome. Welcome to the Black Ring Mafia. It is so exciting to be here. I received my ring in this very hall on this stage 21 years ago this month, and it is such an incredible honor and privilege to be here celebrating each and every one of you as you reach this milestone. I can't tell you how much it means. It's really, really exciting. I read up a little bit on your mascot, Stitch, just to see, see maybe what I could translate and learn about you through that, um, see how any of this sounds. Bulletproof, fireproof, smarter, can think faster than a supercomputer, strong, so strong. You can lift things maybe 3,000 pounds uh, more than you are yourself. I don't know, there's a slight exaggeration, but I do know and has been shared, you are so incredibly strong. I know you know this, I know it's been referenced, but the fact that you all completed your entire first year virtually and here you are with this amount of excitement, this much talent. Um, it says so much about you and it's just worth pausing once again to say that on behalf of everyone in this room and outside of these walls, you are an inspiration. You're an inspiration. <laughs> the thing that I learned about Stitch that actually is so relevant and perfect for this day and for this moment is that Stitch had a friend, Lilo, and as smart, as smart, as talented, as independently amazing as Stitch may have been, it was honestly through friendship, through love, through guidance, and through honestly being invited to belong to something bigger than himself, to a family that really helped Stitch become. And so I just wanted to say to you all, whether you like the mascot or not, uh, you're becoming. This ring ceremony is an amazing mile marker in your journey of personally becoming and in becoming officially part of this larger connected Scotty network that we've talked about. It's happening right before our eyes, slowly but surely, as incredible as you were when you came in, you are in transforming even more and becoming bold, curious, compassionate Scotty leaders that you were born to be. And it is incredibly exciting to see. For those of you who haven't yet, which I think nobody has, thanks to Marty kind of um, willing and telling us, I want to invite you now to take open your box and slip those gorgeous rings onto your finger. And as you do it, as you do it, make sure that the ASC inscription is turned toward you. It faces you. And that's to symbolize the next few years of continued learning and leadership development that's going to happen here at Agnes Scott. If for any reason you don't have your ring yet, still do this with us, because I want to invite every single member of the class of 2024, if you're able and willing, to stand and put those hands with those rings high up in the sky. Let's see them. Let's see them. It's so great. Woo. All right, you may have a seat. Here's what's amazing. In just another couple of years, before you know it, you're going to walk across another stage at commencement. And you're going to be asked to turn those rings around so that the ASC lettering faces outward to the world 
as you start making history as Agnes Scott alumni. I can't wait to see that day. I can't wait to see your continued growth. It has been such a joy and an honor to be here and to continue to watch you in your becoming. Thank you so much. And now, one more congrats and official welcome to the Black Ring Mafia. I want to invite Destiny Tisdale, a senator from your class, and Victoria Colon Lopez, your class VP, to lead us in the college hymn. Good evening. If you are able, please stand and join us for the singing of our college hymn, God of the Marching Centuries. Sophia Ebbett, who just received her ring, will accompany us on the piano. The words of the hymn can be found on the last page of your programs. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to invite our class treasurer, Peyton, to come to the podium to address our class before introducing President Zach. Thank you, Destiny and Victoria and Sophia, for that wonderful musical piece. Good evening. My name is Peyton Weems West, and I serve as your class of 2024 treasurer. It is with my distinct pleasure that I introduce you to our ninth president, Leo Cadia Zach. President Zach became the ninth president of Agnes Scott College in July 2019, a Phi Beta Kappa graduate of Mount Holyoke College, which recognized her as woman of influence in 2012. She holds a Juris Doctorate degree from Northeastern University School of Law. 
President Zach is the board chair of the Atlanta Regional Council for Higher Education and the director of the American Council of Ed on Education Board of Directors. She is a member of the Rotary Club of Atlanta, International Women's Forum, and the Truist Atlanta Advisory Council. She serves on the Metro Atlanta Chamber Innovation and Entre Entrepreneurship Advisory Board and is a trustee of the Global Communities Partners for Good, an international nonprofit organization. With an extensive background in international economic development and international project finance, in 2010, Zach was appointed by President Barack Obama and confirmed by the U.S. Senate to serve as the director of the U.S. Trade and Development Agency. USTDA is an independent federal agency that advances economic development and U.S. commercial interests in developing middle-income countries. While in government service, Zach also was involved in establishing the Women in Public Service Project, a global program working to improve the representation of women in policy and public leadership positions housed at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. President Zach was named to Atlanta's magazine's top 500 most powerful leaders in Atlanta in 2020 and to Atlanta Business Chronicles Women of Influence in 2021. President Zach exemplifies what it means to be a leader, not only in our Agnes Scott community, but also in our ever-changing world. And it is now with my pleasure to welcome President Zach. <laughs> Thank you, Peyton, for that gracious introduction and a long one, too. Thank you all for your patience um, with that introduction. I have to say, I don't know if each one of our class of the, uh, excuse me, our members of the class of 2024 could see how much I was smiling under my mask as I handed each one of those rings. I was just so excited. Um, family and friends, what a phenomenal occasion. I am so happy that we are here in person for this very important event. Thank you for joining us and for making this ceremony even more special for our Scotties. Can we give a round of applause for everyone who came today? So happy to see you all. Class of 2024, as you've heard, today marks a significant milestone in your Agnes Scott journey. And what a journey it has been. To have begun your college experience remotely, and for many of you to have just started your second semester on campus, it's something that none of us had could have imagined two years ago. You have navigated this challenge admirably making new friends along the way, and finding your own path as a Scotty. Today, you are part of a strong, smart, yes, innovative, thoughtful, and honorable community of Scotties who wear this ring proudly. Family and friends, you have heard and may not always have understood the significance of this special rite of passage. As you've heard from some of the people who spoke before, the onyx ring is a symbol that incorporates our proud traditions, and it's the most single recognizable image of the college. This ring is more than a piece of jewelry. It is a symbol of unity. It is a conversation starter. When Scotties meet each other, as they are leading around the world. You heard some of the stories today, and there are many more. I'd like to share a truly inspiring story about our Scotty leaders standing up for one another. A few years ago, when some of our student leaders participated in this ring ceremony, they noticed that some of their classmates were unable to receive this special symbol because they could not afford to purchase a ring. These class leaders saw an opportunity for change, but even more importantly, they took action. Working through Student Government Association, they were successful in passing a resolution to include funding of the ring and the student activity fee 
ensuring that Scotty's would receive a ring. Just as the class of 2024 mascot Stitch would have said, nobody gets left behind. Our students Our students are truly leading everywhere, but I'm constantly reminded that it all begins right here on this campus. I am so proud of you. I don't get to tell you often enough how much you inspire me and how you inspire those around you. It's why we're so happy when we see you on campus, and we're so proud of you today. I also hope that your ring will become a reminder of the impact that you have had on your peers and the legacy that they will follow. I congratulate each of you on this momentous occasion. Now, I would like to welcome Victoria Colon Lopez, the Vice President of the Class of 2024, to the podium for closing remarks. Once again, congratulations, everybody. Y'all, I feel like Beyonce in that Put a Ring on It music video. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Thank you, President Zach, Whitney Ott, and Asiya Sharifi for your inspiring and thoughtful messages. To the blue class, we did it. We have become solidified in Agnes's 100-year legacy of celebrating siblinghood through the Onyx Ring. As your vice president, it has been an honor to see our class grow. I have seen the change that has happened from the time we were incoming first years, trying to find our place in the world during the surge of a pandemic and social unrest, hearing the word unprecedented time and time again, to this moment now as sophomores who are strong and resilient advocators, passionate student leaders, and catalysts of change. Let this ring be a symbol of unity between the members of the Black Ring Mafia, past, present, and future. Let this ring be a symbol of your enduring commitment to live your lives with authenticity and intention. And most importantly, let this ring be a symbol of your mission in this world to think deeply, live honorably, and engage in the intellectual and social challenges of our time. Thank you to everyone who has joined us in celebrating this momentous occasion and to the amazing individuals that made this happen. Our ceremony will conclude with the platform exiting first, followed by all of our participants. Guests, we ask that you meet your students outside at the Presser Butchert Quad to your right as you exit in order to keep the lobby clear from traffic. For all guests and participants who have registered for this event, please join us in Evans Dining Hall for a light reception and a gift from our programming board. Thank you, everyone, and have a wonderful night. <laughs>